Hey guys, it's Megan Ware here, official registered dietitian nutritionist for Spuddle.com athletes, and today I'm here to talk to you about athletic performance and caffeine. About 55% of Americans start their day off with a jolt of caffeine in the morning, but do you know whether that caffeine is helping or hindering your performance? And what about dehydration? I know a lot of you have probably heard that caffeine or coffee can contribute to dehydration. What about your mental performance and maybe over-caffeinating? Is there such a thing? Today I'm going to answer all those questions and more for you in this new webinar about caffeine and athletic performance. Contrary to popular belief, the most recent studies have shown that caffeine is not a diuretic and does not contribute to dehydration. The U.S. military has intensely studied this topic and has found that a small to moderate amount of caffeine consumption per day, about 100 milligrams, does not increase dehydration and does not increase urine output. Caffeine may especially improve performance for endurance athletes like marathoners and cyclists and speed endurance athletes like soccer and hockey players. As most of us have already experienced, caffeine can increase mental sharpness and delay fatigue. For athletes competing in sports where quick thinking and rapid reaction times are necessary, caffeine can provide an edge on the competition. Most performances were increased by 12% when using caffeine. However, this was only for longer bouts of exercise. Short exercises of about 8 to 20 minutes experience less of a benefit, and sprinters experience no benefit at all. The benefits of caffeine are greater for athletes who do not regularly consume it, for they have not built up a tolerance to its effects. That being said, it's better to save caffeine consumption for the day of a race, performance, or game to see the greatest benefit. There are risks involved in caffeine consumption. Some people will experience anxiety, gastrointestinal distress, nausea, rapid heartbeat, or insomnia. Make sure to trial caffeine consumption during practice or training before using it in a competition or game to see how you'll react. And don't forget, caffeine is an addictive substance. When you build up a tolerance to caffeine, the benefits are minimized, and withdrawal from caffeine can negatively affect your performance. Caffeine in high amounts is banned by the NCAA and the International Olympic Committee. The IOC requires that athletes have less than 12 micrograms per milliliter of caffeine in their urine. For some people, this can be 500 milligrams of caffeine or less that can result in a positive test, so always be careful about your caffeine consumption and consume in moderation. Caffeine is absorbed quickly into the body and peaks in the blood system about one to two hours after consumption, so if you're taking caffeine to improve performance, make sure to take about one to two hours before your competition or game. The amount of caffeine tolerance a person has completely depends on the individual, but about 1.5 to 4 milligrams of caffeine per pound of body weight is a good target to shoot for. I recommend that athletes completely avoid caffeine for three to four days before a performance or competition and then fueling up with about 1.5 milligrams of caffeine per pound of body weight about an hour before showtime. For a 200 pound man, this would mean about 300 milligrams of caffeine or about 16 ounces or two cups of coffee. If you're using a pre-workout formula or supplement with caffeine, make sure that it's approved by the NSF to avoid use of any illegal or banned substances. Make sure you check the label for caffeine content and aim for no more than 4 milligrams per pound of body weight to make sure you're within the legal parameters. If you have any questions about caffeine and athletic performance, contact me at nutritionawareness at meganwarerd.com or visit my website meganwarerd.com for more information. I'll talk to you soon.